That one is absolutely belted. Not this time. He's trying to fool me again. Almost a three more shot. Ball. That's two runs right there. Runs in. Runner around third. The relay. It's off Clutch. The run Let's go. Comes in and they take a two run. Just about set to go. Showing the slab in today's game. Mike Clevenger. How about a scouting report on him? He touched the ninth inning his last time out. Really wanted the complete game. Didn't get it, but he did get the W. They'd love to see a pitch deep into this one again. Tommy Edmund at the plate. Going up to Chicago White Sox. That one misses. They are 46 and 43. They're first in their division. And we are three, and two more Ryan games. Deals. That misses. Oh. And now two and oh. well, second pitch of this game. And so after this sweet. series, it's the all-star break. On the ground, right side. Dives and he can't hang on. But there's no play. That's that was a weak single. grounder so somehow. Really we, nice we, 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 okay, back. we start out like that. But yeah, just a cookie down the two middle. more games. So after this about. series, the it's the all-star break. And I think I only have one right player on now, let's see if they force some action with good that is in the all-star, I think. Now it's going to be Brendan Donovan in the air to left center. Marisnik hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. So, Here's a Cardinals lineup second now. half of the season, we got to go off really pile up the runs, if we want to. They're among the top teams in scoring this year. Well, yeah, and when you can get a lead in the NL this season with stolen really bases, so. What that opposing manager can do but we're ranked 23rd in speed. And on top of that, it but we're ranked second in power gives them more after for error. So I've seen in the menu. The ball, to throw darts, so we got power perfect. over speed. Relax, if we're ranked hands, second in power, effectively. we got a power so hitting team. Offense and the ability to score runs also helps the pitching oh. and the defense. Power ball hitting team we are. In now, takes ball one off the plate. Runner takes he's off. Going. There's oh. a ball. That was a ball. Throw to second. Ow! Usually when you see a team okay. try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow I, I could have swung That's and tried exactly to help you out. what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. <laughs> Two and old to Cal. Here it comes. Bruh. Down to right. And that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Now it's the White Sox turn. It's a scoreless ball game. Today's starting pitcher, Jose Urquidy. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a gym. Here's Tim Anderson. This is the player they Tim traded for. With my football background and baseball background, he played Being a starting really baseball, rotation. but then decided to start in ro rotation. He got hurt his sophomore year of high school. He then went back to baseball as a junior. He still ain't doing us no good. Later, the White Sox made him a first round draft pick. Tim made a good choice. Yes, he did. Next offering is in for a strike. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop-up sometimes will carry out. Next like pitch popped up. Brings it in. And there's one down. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. And Chris, this offense is facing a defense that is well known for on the base ball percentage, they're ninth. How aware are you so they be getting on base. of a bad defensive team? Well, you're not like completely aware because you're really focusing your, on your approach. But I think when you know about a team and how they can be sloppy and as it plays out in a ball game, you're more intent on saying with two strikes, I got to make sure that I put the ball in play. Because even if I don't get a knock, there's a chance they commit an error and it leads to us scoring more runs. Swing, Another pop-up. Two pop-ups. 
Edmund puts it away for the out. And a couple of quick outs. Here's Aloy Jimenez. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. We've been facing a lot of international teams, which they said this season it was going to be more of it than it is with NL. Because you do see the same team through the whole schedule of the year, so it's a good change. Face the team you haven't faced in before. Swing and a miss, oh, and that's strike two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Yeah, Hitters, a common thing now. Get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. It's like every year it's the same team, same series. Change it up a bit. Going to now. Got you take a seat. That's a strikeout. Plus, it's a lot harder because you don't know how these teams play because you never played them before. All of the success he's had at the plate and all the All-Star appearances. Singy, he's won the Gold Glove every year that he has been in the league. He's going to go down as one of, if not the greatest defensive third baseman of all time. Ah, Just that better drop. That time. better drop. A and it did. Single. So a runner aboard to start the inning. And I was late on a meter fastball, too. We take it. Whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Wow. And there's one down. That is it. The second base. Nolan Gorman. Here's Nolan Gorman. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. In there for strike Excuse me? one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And that one fouled off. That was a home run pitch. You got away Arnetto, with that. The runner at first with one Lucky I was out in front. Lucky he was out in front. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Here's Tyler O'Neill. On the ground. Dives, but it kicks off his. Uh, okay. Apparently, we can only get bloop singles. Weak contact. And now it's Juan Yepes. First offering, and it just misses. At the belt and fires. Second inning here, no score. Swing wow. and a miss. Yeah, the count one and two. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear it out. Those last two pitches were well executed. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Two on, two outs. Stays All right. alive. Staying alive now. Why? 
This one in the dirt. Gets to it on the first. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. So the Cards strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Urquidy back to work. And that's outside. Oh, okay. They they did something to these umps. Where Check swing. these strike zones are broken. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it. Back. Excuse me? And it gets by him. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Andrew Vaughn now. Yeah, that's in there for strike one. Rudder at first with no outs here. All right. Possible striker or go for the double play. The pitch. They tried oh. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Here's a one-two. Vaughn checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And that's a swing, oh. according to umpire Mike Fillmore. That, that looked like a check swing to me. That and now, Sebi Zavala. Zavala. <clears throat> first pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. And there's a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, nah. he's going <clears> to <throat> he's in the zone. be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Tap back up the middle. Over to first. And yeah, there's two away. Uh, what was his speed? I might have got double play out of it. Here's Elvis Andrews. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lines. I don't know. I think I probably had a double play out of it. First oh. offering misses the mark. And what does that do for a team? I thought it was two outs power from anyway. Unexpected spots oh. like that. When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. He dives, but he can't make the catch. And he'll be hey, at least we first. kept it from the outfield and making that run going in. He kept now it in the infield. Big time power. Crap. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Righty delivers, and that one pulled foul. <laughs> Runners on first and third, two away. <laughs> Next pitch is outside. Got, Got him. him. Huge strike out there. Two left on. We played two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing.
Chapman. They both were on the same team in high school at El Toro High School. Next pitch is inside. Two balls and a strike. You know, in the offseason, he regularly plays wiffle ball with his brothers and cousins. He contacted his bat company. He's an old hickory model. Slowest slider ever. model in a wiffle ball bat. Old hickory model 28NA-wiffle. And it's got his name on it. Well, okay, we take a base up the middle. Playing the game. I mean, playing wiffle ball in the off Anytime it hits up the middle towards the pitcher, the pitcher usually knock it down. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. That was just a protective swing. I didn't think I would get a base hit. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Fouled off left side. Just wait on it. If I time that slider, it, it's going to be a bomb. Ball in one now. Late that time, and it's strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Oh, uh, yeah. Next pitch way upstairs. Got me slider cautious. Right hander kicks deals. That's off the mark. And the count's even at two. It's a good take. Next pitch in the dirt. Full count three and two. Not today. Nolan Gorman up next. I gotta work on not chasing on a lot of pitches. Nobody out. Out to wow. center. He's under it. Squeezes it. And there's one away. Up next to the card. The second baseman. Now it's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. He's 0 for 1. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning. Good inning timing just play. underneath it. Ball one, no strikes. And the one on misses low. This up. I'll be throwing a warning shot at the ump. Be like, hey, start calling his low pitch. Strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And ball four to a board. I was about to swing, but I was like, nah. The ump ain't calling anything. The play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. So digging in, Tyler O'Neill. In there, and it's 0-1. The last thing he oh, wants yeah. is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Wow. Down the line and Why are we in the screen? Slices foul. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. So first and second with two outs. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Juan Yepes. That's a little bit low. The 1 0. That one missed. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish. Come on now, let's come up clutch here. Out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. And it was the pitch. That 
one is absolutely belted. Not this time. He's trying to fool me again. Almost a three more shot. Ball. That's two runs right there. Runs in. Runner around third. The relay. It's off Clutch. The run Let's go. Comes in. And they take a two-run lead. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. <laughs> Lars Newtbar, next up for the Cardinals, grounded out his first. He tried to pitch that twice to me, huh? Timed it this time. You're lucky it wasn't a home run. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's base a base hit. hit. RBI. Yepes. Around third. Garcia Maybe. fires it to the plate. Tag. Too late. He scores. And they lead by three. Well done. Yeah. He's in the run. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield. And in between his legs. There's just no one there to knock it down. Now it's the shortstop. Tommy Edmond. One for two. Ah, right. I should have took an apple. Sheets makes the grab, and that's the inning. Three Sorry, runs we get three runs here, out of it. And they move ahead. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Cardinals three, and the White Sox nothing. The other way. Base hit. Lady on got power. So a man on base to start the inning. We start hitting the weight room. The bat, the first base, Paul Goldschmidt. So, man aboard. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Wow. Right side, foul territory. Vaughn on the run. You know, these Cardinals putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like. If that was a curve, I, that would have been gone. But the you don't throw curves. Tell the story. I mean, they've been sitting fastball and it's paying off in a big way so far with six hits against that pitch alone. And base hit. Throw back in quickly. First Why are we not rocking the slider out of the ballpark? Right, come on. A firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field now the White Sox manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen Mike Clevenger gives way it's a three run game and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute bye bye there's Nolan Arenado and that's in there for strike one two for two with two singles Oh, you do throw a curve. Okay. It's fourth in the war area. Struck him out looking. Wilson Contreras next up always the get me on the outside this corner every time into one of the best catchers in the game but was originally signed by the Cubs as an infielder swings through what? that one. Oh, and there's one. no way Wilson Contreras is there's put together no way. a special career Multiple there's no times, way you missed that all star and a guy that came up in the Cubs oh, system dude. as an infielder one out Runners at first and second. Pitch ball. misses there. Ball one. one ball. Yeah, very athletic catcher. And the thing about it is offense is probably what he's most known for coming out of that position behind the dish. And this is a kid that grew up in Venezuela. Favorite player, Miguel Cabrera. And not a bad one to want to follow after in terms of what you can do at the plate. Look out. Hit pitch. Okay, and bases him. loaded, one out. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a Gorman pitch. at the plate, well, power hitter. Can we come up clutch here? The on base percentage a little bit, and that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS. Well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. 
That's the third. That's two and runs. That one finds its way through. One runs in. Marisnik fires it to the plate. Stole Slides five in. nothing. It's five nothing. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Two on, one out. Tyler O'Neill now at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Contreras, the lead runner out at second. Gorman. Break this game right ball. open. Next one oh. misses, and the count is 2 0. Oh. Kicks and fires. That one's spoiled, and the count now 2 and 1. I was on it. Pitch swings through that. How are you missing that? There's no way you're gonna say good. I mean, miss contact. Runners at first and second with one. I goal. knew it. It don't make no sense. Caught him looking for the game. Not a strike. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter. Oh, it's that outside the high corner. All day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. And first offering is fouled off. That one literally was not a strike on. Come on now. The pitch. Next one offering one. is outside. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Next offering Why? is foul back. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. So two runs, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Cardinals five and the White Sox nothing. The right-hander back to work. That's in there. Got ourselves a five, five run lead. On, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen Could have been more. Bit today. It's been tough for him to make contact at times. Finally came up clutch when his base is loaded. Like they're seeing it very well as a group. Next oh, offering what? is in for a strike. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty Hold high. Hold up. All of the swings and misses. No, a high that pitch was? Palm of his hand pretty much all game. We'd be, we'd be throwing hands on huh? Oh, my God. Goodness. And here it comes. Zavala started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and Mike Phil. I, 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 want, I don't want this up. guy umping the game, calling strikes way up there. And it's even up. This is the reason why we're swinging at everything, because of that. Next offering upstairs. Really so you're going to call a high game strike game and not call that? Two strikes here. I love it. On consistent mother. The why to kick the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Shit, though, off speed out there because he's pulling it. Bat speed a little early. The pitch. Ground ball left side, and that's just foul. And 
And the right hander deals. Bounce to the left side. How you and not it get that? Finds its way through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Nice and bad right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. He made him really oh, work oh, out there on the mound. Just one of those seeing high He pulled every field. pitch, too. Just kind of rolled hey, over hey. on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Andrews ah. in the box now. No balls and a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Base knock right field. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Marisnik stands in. I ain't clawing back to nothing. Strike one. His first That's hit bad was a crap strikeout. Hit. Actually, we, we better have some bullcrap hits, too. And now the 1. The one with Arenado hit. It was a... Should have been a fly out, but... A blue pop single. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The 2-1. And that's in for a strike. Man, what were you looking for? Grounder might be two. Ah, uh, no. Second, yeah, it's 76 feet. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off mm. and he got it there. In Made time it. To get that Runners out. on the corner. And now the center fielder, Leori Garcia. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Here's a high fly ball out to center. How dare you? Racing makes the I catch. didn't think so. Up next to the White Sox. The shortstop. Tim. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Tim Anderson steps to the plate for the White Sox. Well struck left field. That ball's carrying. And that ball is out of here. Home run number 15 on the year. And they slice into the lead. It's 5-3. They needed that one. Singing. Hold on. Where was that pitch they at? Did. They've been fighting to get back into this game. And just like that, they're back in it. Nah, it probably wasn't loaded. So it, was, it wasn't end enough. a surprise. A guy known four line drives it's one over the fence well if you're a little too early you'll get some elevation in the ball get out of the ballpark for him it's kind of a mistake but you know what when you have such a good approach every now and then you're going to run into one and now yohan moncada in there for strike one and a pitch and that's outside. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. And with two outs, one swing can put you right back in this ballgame. So now one and right. two. And now two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Goodness. Bites it off, you'll see another. Mm -hmm. 
next offering oh, yeah. is down low and that's ball three. The wind of the pitch. Got him. Nice throw. Pulled the string on the changeup, but not before they're able to draw closer with this. Urquidy back to work. Ground ball up the middle, and it's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Gavin Sheets getting ready to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels Dude, like I'm, it's I, really I think I'm going to pull you. Getting back into this ball game. Left hand batter waits. Close one. Oh. Doesn't get the call. And yeah, the count even one and one. Righty delivers. And a count one and two. Jimenez gets his lead at first with nobody out. The next pitch misses. The count now two and two. And now the count to the three and two. Seriously, come on, start calling those. In the on deck circle. Righty to the plate. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And there's a hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Back-to-back -back base hits. Nice no, line drive to the pull side. Bet it out front, but just stayed through it nice oh. enough and ripped it into the outfield. How y'all getting lucky with these hits? Next pitch downstairs, and it's one to know. At the belt and fires. In the air to left down the line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. First and second here, no outs. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that will drop the foul. All right, come on now. The one-two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Good eye right there. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. No outs. Runners at first and second. Got him. Yeah. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Sebi Zavala steps to the plate for the White Sox. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Big 
And there it is. Got out of it. That's two. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job. 4 6 3 inning ending double play. And he deals. Good eye right there. Wow. Swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next pitch misses. Ball two. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a pop up. And they get Arenado for the out. One down. The catch catch number four. Wilson. And now the catcher Contreras. comes up to him. Wilson Contreras. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. First ball offering ball. misses the mark. Really One good ball. athlete, no and many times you talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see right, the trajectory, and get count. into a spot where he can block those. But balls. it might be a circle change or a curve. The backstop. Two zero. There's a strike. No, it wasn't. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he's... Yeah. Towards left center field. That's well struck. And that one's gone. Give me that run back. Wilson Contreras blasts one out, and they add to their lead. It's 6-3. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches. Yeah, I did. Bad was very patient, and it paid off. Who's up next? Nolan Gorman. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. And a foul ball. <laughs> the 0 1. Come on. And a foul ball. And the righty deals. Misses ball, inside. Inside. And the count is one and two. Oh, he never moved. Three fastball so length. Time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And that's too high. That one misses. All right, we work for self a 3-2 count. The 3-2 is All right. off the outside back on some more runs. That is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. O'Neal wow. down the box comes up empty with a swing there. Now the one swing and a miss as he was late. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Two hittable fastball and I'm late. Ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. Kicks and deals. That misses. Now one and two. Two. 
Swing no. And, a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely oh, no. an individual hard. performance Don't you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Yepes at the plate with two away, swings through there. What? That Might just say south side. One. Just missed. One one. One and two here. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And they've doubled up now. It's 6-3. This is Cardinals baseball. Um, in the air, left oh, foul. down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Bomber deals. And a count wow. one and two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And now the count is even. Uh, I had to swing because... No, maybe not, because he's he never been calling nothing down there. Yeah, there's a ball. Wow. Right side. In time to ball. One up, one down. Now that the short shot. Tommy. So up next, Tommy Edmond. Good swing Let a bit ahead of it. Last time, ripped a liner in the center. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Joe Kelly getting ready to go. Kicks and fires. That one lifted to left. I thought he had all of it. Mariznik makes the grab, and there's two away. Now bad, bad. the designated hitter. Brendan. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. That's a strike, and it's 0-1. Yeah, that's outside. The pitch. That one not close. And a count two and one. All right, two, two. Staying alive. On the ground to third. Oh, okay, the inning stays alive with the error. It up and the inning still alive. Maybe just a little lack of concentration on that throw. Two out, you think you've got the play made. Guys are starting to move off the field towards the dugout, and then everyone's got to come back. Sometimes you take that throw for granted, and that's all it takes to keep the inning going. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Ah. 
Donovan off of first with two away. Take one for the team. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Runner leads away at second. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. You really the trying to get me to taste in the dirt. Is. Comes a 2 2. Foul ball left side. Mm, You'll see another. sat back just a bit. Two outs and one in scoring position. And now it's filled up. Nolan Arenado waits on deck. And a payoff pitch. Back to the mound. That's fine. That's all right. And it gets by. What are you doing? Here's the throw to the That's okay. We take a lead. A four run lead. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. So two down, down the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. That's hard hit on the line. That's right to him. And the inning is over. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Cardinals seven and the White Sox. Th the 1 0. Swung on, belted. Okay, that's maybe I do need a closer. And that is gone. That one felt good, and they cut into the deficit. It's 7 4. This guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And now it's going to be Sebi Zavala. All right, warm, warm my back. Warm, warm. Get back up there. Coach just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. And fouled off. Nobody on, nobody out. Here, the last half of inning number nine. Next offering is fouled back. And the right hander deals on the ground to first. And he takes it himself out. for the out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Number one, second baseman, All right, I had to put him in. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Oh, are you kidding me? Through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that one. Yeah, Not much to this one other than through. just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball oh, in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Jake Marisnik steps to the plate for the White Sox. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next offering is in Man, for did he get pulled twice by the curve? Long. He's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes 
the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Next no. one misses. On. One and two to count. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. Andrews at first, one gone. <laughs> Ah, that was a slider down the middle. Oh, my goodness. And they're down to their last out. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Wait, that was too much of the plate. Garcia in the box now as he leaves that one up high. So I say I got lucky. Inside corner for a strike. Next oh, offering this is upside. Downstairs. That was all in the zone. Bro, come on, man. Don't do this. Two outs. That one the other way. And it goes just foul. And a swing Good night. Miss, and that is the ball game. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. This one finishes with a final of seven to four. For Chris Jose, three put nine. Horrible picture. Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. subscribe it's a nice win to get this you're on the next video peace